be back in time for your tea. I've told everyone else as well. I want everyone to be here for you. Well, it's like the last supper. Still, I don't mind being the centre of attention. I don't make jokes like that, love. Sorry, Mum. Just don't go to lots of trouble for me. <laughs> There's no such thing as too much trouble, love. You just go and enjoy yourself with Charles. OK. Bye. Bye, love. <sighs> right. Let's get packed. Come on, it's now or never. What? We haven't even talked about this properly. It's the only chance she's got left. She'll be scarred for life if she gets sent down. What kind of life is she going to have on the run? We'll be cutting her off from everyone she loves and she'll hate us for She'll it. She'll be with us. In ten years' time, we'll be a burden to her. And what if you have a relapse? Look, I won't. Just so long as she's all right. Oh, really? Well, what about the hospital and everybody there that you depend on? You know, you can kiss goodbye to that and all. Look, I'll manage. She's more important than me. Please. Don't do this, Zach. Don't make this a choice between you and her. Well, that's exactly what it is. I thought it was dead romantic. You know, the way he asked her to renew the vows whilst on the stretcher. Like it was dying wish. Uh, you weren't even there. Anyway, it was only palpitations. He's used to him by now. I can't believe I missed it. Bet she was made up, eh? Uh, no, he said that she was all non-committal about it. No, is she off her head? It's who off whose head? Oh, you! So go on, have you put him out of his misery then? Yeah, don't keep him hanging, even if the answer's no. I'll do no such thing. In fact, I need you to keep him away from me. Oh, can you two not just grow up? Look, I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise me that Eric won't hear a word. Right, quick, before Adam comes in. What do I need to know? It's hardly been a crossword all morning. Nothing to tell, it's fine. No, I mean last night. What did you talk about? Did you mention my name? As if it was just civil. What about Chaz? I mean, I know she means well, but if she so much as drops. I'll tell everyone. Promise. Okay, bye. All right, well, that's us told then. That was Lisa. Everyone round there's for tea. It's an order. That means you and all. Why me? Because we're needed. It's not just about Belle, it's me dad and all. The last thing I want is him cracking. Belle's trial starts tomorrow. Chaz has been told too. It's an order. See you later. Bye. Great. Now we're all going to have to sit there lying through our teeth. Yep. I suppose it's the way it's going to have to be from now on. Where's Valerie? Hey, Dad. Chill out, will you? I don't want to end up taking you back to hospital. Don't be ridiculous. Where is she? Did she mention anything about our marital status? No, she didn't really seem too bothered. I think she's got other things on her mind. Do you think I should have done more to make her see sense? You did everything you could. What, do you think I scared her off too much too soon? <laughs> Why is she not answering my calls? Eric, this isn't all about you. She's worried about fundraising. Apparently Amelia was so excited about doing a dance, she slightly exaggerated the... Donation. Mm, if over three grand counts as slightly. Ah. Oh. So I let her down on that score as well. Whatever I do is not right, is it? <laughs> nice one. Thanks a lot, guys. Hey, at least these two were honest with me. Should have read the signs. Realise it's all over. Right, listen to me. Um, please, keep your mouth shut. Like, today of all days, we need to keep him sweet. That's all we ever flipping do. I am serious. Now, you've got to do everything that I tell you. What, did something happen at the hospital? No, no. Um, it's about Val. Now, I know my dad's down at the moment, and I feel pretty shady going behind his back, but um, this isn't my call. What isn't? Oh, Davey, just tell us. Uh, on the house. I'll be thinking of you tomorrow. Hope it goes well. How well can it go? Uh, come on, quick, while the city's free. Well, I'm consistent, if nothing else. If there's a wrong thing to say, I'm your man. Well, that makes two of us. At least people don't look to you for spiritual guidance. <laughs> the end of civilization, if they did. <laughs> yes. Just don't... How well can it go? Listening to a room full of people telling lies about my Gemma. No one would dare do that. How well is this girl going to defend herself? I don't know. The only way I can get through this is knowing I get to see Belle go down at the end of it. I can't wait. 
Nicola is going to be sick when she sees it. No, that is gorgeous, babe. Hey, I wish Nicola would have been here yesterday when it all kicked off. I would have loved to see her face. At least I got rid of Megan, eh? Morning, ladies. Oh, congratulations on your news. Oh, Todd. I thought you'd be off looking after Dan. You don't need to be in work. How do you know? Wish you told me. I'm stepping up for a while, so that's good, isn't it? Great. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to crack the whip to catch up on yesterday, you know, what with the, uh, spot check. Cool. Well, I better go and, uh, see you down then. Well, congratulations yourself. I I'm gonna get back to work then as well, you know, help catch up from yesterday. Uh, no, it's OK. I need you to clean the ladies' loos. One of the drains has backed up and we can't get an engineer until five o'clock. OK. I think that you need to check my job description. Yeah, I did. It's under other duties as required, which in this case means rubber gloves on and a lot of scrubbing, which I believe you're very good at. Never mind lunch. When was the last time we had a house all to ourselves? Oh. No wonder we've been bickering. Well, you know me. Anything to keep the peace. <laughs> so, get down on your knees and pick that lot up. <laughs> Although, this does feel a little bit more like workplace harassment. Uh, less of your back chat. You don't want me to punish you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nicola. Get out! Sorry. Um, I, I was just wondering... Um, I, I, I need an advance on this month's wages. You do know I'm just covering. Declan will have me shot. Please, uh, it's, it's for our bell. I just, I just want to do something to cheer her up before tomorrow. Not if it means putting my job on the line. But uh, she's going to court, please. All right. Uh, Declan can't have a go at you if someone's robbed the petty cash, can he? I'll be the first one in his sights. Well, you can say that you didn't see a thing, because it'll be true. Come on. We never had this conversation, all right? You'll need a straw for that. He's not to strain his neck to make or break the next 24 hours. No, it isn't. They said he'd be off in no time. Good. It's shameful. It's like one of them funnels you put on a dog's head or something. It's flaming negligence. What about health and safety? That's what I want to know. If I didn't know better, I'd say you sounded like a woman about to put a claim in. <sighs> We're not with skanking a claim for this. It's not true. And anyway, it'll jinx the wedding. But you could be off work for weeks and weddings are expensive. It's your fault in the first place. Right, we'll have a couple of coffees and we're heading to town. Much fancy. Shopping, nail bar. Well, I am sorry. Actually, we'd better just go. Did you get my message? Shut up. I, I am not going to do anything to get you in any more trouble. Oh, look, mate, you can't be doing that. You're just going to make things worse for yourself. So, see, I have thought about you all the time. Just please don't talk. <sighs> sorry, kid, we can't let you do this. Right. We're going to have to use bin bags. There's not enough cases. Hang on. <laughs> I've got everyone coming round for tea. Are you serious? Let Belle get sent down because you don't want to offend people? I thought you'd at least let her have the chance to say goodbye to folk. We haven't got time. Oh, no, no, no. Zach, listen to me, please. I'm not having this family pulled apart. How do you think Sam's going to cope? With the police watching his every move. And Chaz. And Debbie. Cos that's what it'll come down to. Yeah, but not forever it won't. And that is not as bad as letting our daughter get sent down. What you do, what you want. I am stopping here with my daughter. Oh. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I'm sorry I've let you both down, but... I took my lead from Belle cos... Well, I was clueless. There's how to help. We'll do that again, love. Respect what she wants. Can you hold it together? Never mind me. Seeing our little girl in the dock. On her own. I just might, if you're there. <sighs> we'll do this, love. Because we have to. Oi, stop messing with you're breaking. Haven't you got a job to be doing? It's, it's just a, a voucher for Belle. I've got to have it today. Oh, hello. 
Um, we'd like to speak to your manager about booking a wedding. I take it you can't do that. Hmm. Bet your finger turns green by tomorrow. Did you get that out of a bin? Mm. I told you we shouldn't come, but I'm gonna like it here. Yeah, it's the bride's day, mate. Brace yourself. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, do not lump me in with her. Uh... Right, is it gonna be a themed wedding? Chavy chic? You're gonna have a pregnant bridesmaid to complete the look. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jealous. It's cos, yeah, marriage is rotting from the inside. Ooh. I wonder how we're going to the dentist. You said it's bad telling lies. Yeah, just be a good lad and go put your clothes in the bag fast as you can. Quick! While Nana and Grandad are at the supermarket. But why are we in trouble? Oh, uh, no, look. Remember we Rachel and Archie. Are we going to see them? No, son, sorry, we're not. Remember how we talked about going to Ireland to stay with Uncle Mikey? Well, it'd be good for us, wouldn't it? Going somewhere else, and... Well, we could take Belle with us. Not if she's in prison. Yeah, well, that's why we've got to go now. See? Well, it'd be like superheroes saving her from jail. Is Grandad coming in, Nana? No. It's just us three. Will we come back and see them, though? Yeah, yeah, of course. We'll, we'll sort some out. It, It'd be like an adventure. So, so, come on, go and pack your bag. I'll time you. Right. You take me to the solicitor. If I can retract it, maybe he can stop you going through, stop her from signing Dad, it. Dad, you know if it's safe to go anyway. What is wrong with me? I let her down time after time. In private, now in public. Heine jumped out of the plane because I, I thought it would win her back, and that failed. So is her charity. Dad, it, she's not blameless either. Stop torturing yourself, will you? She's probably hiding out somewhere with embarrassment. Who the hell do I think I am, eh? Putting her on the spot like that in front of everyone. Right, listen, it's like this. She she's is... shopping. Yeah. Yeah, you know, a bit of retail therapy. Uh-uh. She knows you're OK. And she was worried. Was she? Was she? Well, I mean, it's hard to tell, really, isn't it? Cash and carry. Yeah, we're running really low on sausages and toilet paper. Look, I know you've only just got back, but I've got beds to change and toilets. They're really to fine. Used to doing things by myself, anyway. Come on. Go on, we can look after this place for an hour. <sighs> Gonna be in a great mood now, innit? Sorry, I panicked, but we can get more done with him out of the way. An hour, David, no more. Right. Dad, which coach should we pack for Bell? Oh, just a minute, son, I'm thinking. Dad! Hiya. Sorry, I'm so late. I'll dump my stuff and get cracking. Late? For what? The vaccines. On your pigs? There's no room in the bag. Should I leave it? Just go back upstairs, son. I'll be there in a minute. You going on holiday? Uh, yeah, ju just for a couple of days. I don't want Samson seeing people upset, you know, tomorrow. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> Wish I could join you. Mm. Uh, I'd better see to these pigs anyway. Right, we've got to go off now. But we haven't got all the stuff. It's too late. I can't take everything anyway. I can't lift it. Right, just go and get in the car. Don't talk to Vanessa. Right, you've got to play it cool. Come in. Toilets are done. Floors are a bit wet. The smell of bleach might knock you out, so I'd stay clear for a bit. Is there no end to your talent? No, there isn't. And just so you know, it'll take more to break me than asking me to get my hands dirty. Who said anything about breaking you? I am simply letting you know that I can play that game too. Fine, but just so you know, I don't have to be here. I work, cos it's better than not. 
Don't underestimate me. Don't underestimate me. I've never been scared of grafting. Be my guest. Go graft. Andy just asked for the rest of the day off. So Adam and me will crack on with the shearing if that's OK. Great. Sounds like you've got it all under control. Hey, tell you what, how about I see to that lot and you get back to doing what you love? What, have we uh, got the house to ourselves? <laughs> I meant the garage. I know. You can't blame a block for trying, though, can you? No, I just thought that you must be behind with Dan being out of action. Oh, I have I got Adam to thank for this? No, why? I don't get you. Well, he calls a ceasefire with James and suddenly you're in an happy mood. Well, either that or I've done something right. Oh, right. I was just offering, but if you'd rather carry no, on... That's no, fine. no, 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 no. Do you know what? You know how bad you sometimes. Mm. Listen, Go. She... <laughs> See ya. Hi. You're a star. Do you know, I worried you weren't going to be able to make it. How's your neck? Fine. I'm the happiest man alive. Oh. Hey, does my ring look cheap to you? Who cares? Finn should have been here ten minutes oh, ago. Nice. Why are you coming this way? Have you lost your mind? It wasn't my idea, all right? And I'm sorry you've had such a rubbish day. There she is. Stop the car. Stop the car! I didn't know which ones were brought options. I'm sorry I had to lie to you, Eric. I didn't know what else to do. Please. I can see now why you'd run a mile. I've let you down so many times. <laughs> Not just yesterday, but... I promise you, I never meant to humiliate you. Yesterday it was lovely. But you didn't have to ask me out of guilt. Every time I think I'm doing the right thing to win you back, I'm wrong. So what do I do? I get it, you know. You not wanting to sleep with us. But if that's the best that's on offer, then it's better that than nothing at all. I've had everyone running round all day. And after everything you've done, the least I can do is say this out loud so the whole world can hear it. You are the best man anyone could want. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. So please. Will you marry me? Again. Right now. In front of everyone. In the church. You only ever had to say the word. Then get me up and get me down that aisle before me mascara starts running and I look like a flaming zebra. <laughs> I love you, Eric Pollard. Be honest. Do I need to go and apologise to Bob? I know he meant well, but I shouldn't have been rude. Oh, don't be daft. It's an occupational hazard. I put up with biting, scratching and flatulence all day long. And that's just the customers, never mind the pets. If Declan kicks off about it, you'll have to be my witness. Sam had my arm twisted up my back. Oh, come off it. You don't normally have a problem saying no. <laughs> so flaming cheek asking for an advance. And bringing Belle into it was a cheap shot. I don't know why she needs money. Are you listening? Can you really get time off work? Sorry, what? The trial. I mean, I don't want to put you out. Something's bugging you, I can tell. No, it's just, um... Oh, forget it. It'll just sound like I'm stirring. What will? Vanessa? What will? OK. I had to do a call at Lisa's earlier. Sam had his bags packed. So? She just said he wanted the money because of Belle. I reckon Sam's doing a runner. And he's taking her with him. Belle? 
been waiting for you. Just wanted you to know I'm not going to say anything to get you in trouble tomorrow. All you have to do is be honest. Yeah, of course, because you're innocent. I've been looking for you everywhere. I thought you were with Chaz. Yeah, she had to nip home, so just rather stay out of the way. Can't be dealing with seeing everyone. You should have run. Jump in and give you a lift. No, I'd, I'd rather walk. Make the most of the outside. I didn't think you two were supposed to see each other. Come on, I'll give you a lift. OK. Right, I've got to go, but don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. Yeah, of course it will. Did you have a nice day with Chaz? Yeah. She talks a lot of sense. Stuff like this really makes you grateful for your family. Yeah. It's like all them times that they've got on your nerves, it doesn't even matter. I don't know what I'd do without you all. <sighs> yeah, well, we all want what's best for you. We're back in Emmerdale in half an hour.